Hey everybody, my name is Joel Pilcher. I am a wildlife artist. I work mostly in charcoal, but I do a lot of painting as well. I've been doing uh, fine art, the charcoal and painting art, for about, uh, it's been about seven years now. I find my inspiration in a few different areas. I, I do work from reference images for all of my artwork. To get the level of detail that I do in my pieces, I have to have references. Just can't make that up out of my head. I spend a lot of time in the outdoors as well. Um, I love to mountain bike, I love to um, backpack. I spend as much time as I can up in the hills and up on the mountain. Just to be in the environment where the wildlife is and to kind of just soak all that in. I pay attention a lot to lighting and the way it, uh, you know, the way the sun casts shadows across different elements. If I, if I can spend some time out there, then when I come back here into my studio, everything just seems to flow a lot easier and the pieces come together better and ultimately have a, a better result in the end. So my inspiration for this piece, I, uh, I saw, actually saw this image, this photograph on Instagram a few years ago, and I've always thought it was just an amazing photo and something that I would like to use for reference. So just recently I reached out to the photographer, his name is Taylor Larson, and uh, got permission from him to use it for, this, for reference for this piece. And I also have always thought it'd be fun to do a collaboration with Mountain Ops. In Mountain Ops, we kind of we go we go back a long ways, so I've always wanted to uh, work with them again. I've loved art since I was a little kid, and when I was about 20, 24 years old, I decided I wanted to try to become a professional artist and make a living at it. Um, I ended up um, I ended up going into digital design, graphic design, and worked as a freelance artist, doing contract work with different clients for quite a few years. And then at, at one point I met Casey and Jordan Harbertson and we decided to team up and we formed a company called Zulu Six. It was a marketing and design firm. And we had, had some great success with that. It was really short though because it wasn't long after we started Zulu Six that we met Trevor Farms. It took off. I, I was tasked with creating the brand, with um, coming up with the logo. It's uh, one of my favorite logos that I've ever created. I've always had a talent and a love for creating icons and brands and logos for you know corporate identities. And one of my favorite things to do with those with those designs is to add some subtle meaning into it, something that's more subliminal. And that was the idea I had with with Mountain Ops as well, where we wanted something that had kind of a military theme to it, but I also wanted something that was specific to Mountain Ops. So we were, I was able to come up with the uh, the icon, and if you look close, it does create an M and an O, an M on top and the O on bottom for Mountain Ops. So I've always loved uh, kind of sneaking those little Easter eggs into my logo designs and the Mountain Ops one turned out awesome. I love Mountain Ops products. I use them every day. Um, I usually start my day out with ammo, um, the mill replacement product. And then I also kind of depending on what I'm doing that day, whether I'm riding my bike up on the mountain or I'm lifting in, in my home gym, I, if I'm riding my bike, then I'll take Ignite. I love the, the energy boost that it gives me. Um, and then if I'm lifting here at home, then I, I use Yeti. Then one, th one product that I've really come to love is as, as an entrepreneur, small business owner, um, there are nights that uh, I just can't get to sleep because my mind won't stop racing. And uh, once I was introduced to the Mount Ops product Slumber, that has helped me a ton. I, get, I sleep so much better when, I, when I'm able to take that product. I use both acrylic paint and charcoal as mediums to work with in my artwork. But my favorite really is charcoal. That's, that's kind of where I started. And it's what I love the most. I just love the simplicity and the timeless look of the black and white. I've also worked really hard to develop my own process where I use charcoal on canvas. It's, it's something that's pretty unique. I haven't seen a lot of artists that do it, but the whole purpose or reason behind it was I wanted to create a final product that was higher quality than what you typically get with traditional charcoal work. Most charcoal artists work on paper and that final paper just has always felt to me you know just flimsy and not as durable as what I what I wanted. So I, I spent some time and some effort and put together developed this process where I use charcoal on canvas with the idea that the, the final product would be a lot higher quality and a lot more durable. And I was able to come up with a way to, to work it on canvas and um, in the end I'm able to varnish it, clear coat it and varnish it, which makes it extremely durable. Um, 
don't have to worry about it smearing or smudging or anything. You don't have to frame it behind glass, which you typically do with charcoal work. And it's, uh, it's been a really fun to develop the process and to see the result. Um, it's worked out great. And there's been a few surprises along the way, some different uh, textures that have come out of it that I've had to adapt to. And in the end, I actually really like the way it works out. It uh, kind of one of the you know, happy accidents that Bob Ross talks about. But um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun developing that process. So with this piece that I'm working on with, with Mountain Ops, I really wanted to convey, you know, after, after, after a hunter goes out and puts in all the time and effort, because it does take a lot of time and effort to have a successful hunt, um, I wanted to show, you know, even after all that time and efforts put in, the work's not over. So I'm really excited to be able to work on this piece and to complete it and to be able to give it away to a lucky winner. We are going to be giving away the original. And as I mentioned, you know, having an original piece of artwork from any artist is just an amazing thing to have um, because of the uniqueness of it, the value of it. So in addition to giving away the original piece of artwork, we're also going to be giving away four reproduction prints, four copies, and they'll be framed and ready to hang. So there'll be five total winners. So with all the artwork together, the originals and the four framed reproduction prints, looking at a total value of over $7,000. In order to win one of these pieces of artwork, whether it's the original or one of the framed prints, just go to mountainops.com and place an order. Every order is entered to win. So I, I still remember after we met Trevor, one of the first times when he, he gave us the product, the Mount Ops product to test out to see what we thought before we you know, came together and created the brand. And I remember taking, I think, I, actually, I think it was the Yeti product and I tried it and I went out for a mountain bike ride. And it was, it was so awesome because you know, usually I go out and I go for a ride and I climb a certain amount, get to the top and I feel like, all right, I've got, got the workout in, now I can turn around and cruise back down. But after I took that, product, the Mount Ops product, I got to the top of the climb and I started looking for another hill. You know, I wanted to go further and I was able to and I just kept climbing. And I got back and I was like, man, this stuff, this stuff is real. You know, this is the real deal. I've always really enjoyed using the Mountain Ops product. It's always been a great benefit to me. I've uh, really seen results using it in the gym or out on the mountain. Um, and I just really enjoy it. And it always makes me want to go out and conquer more.